Deontay. You care to care to respond to the latest Eddie Hearn madness? He was saying uh, you wouldn't win a round against Usyk if that's the fight that happens. I mean, we have to find out. You know what I mean? Everybody is sensitive to their own opinion. I mean, I can't, I can't take his own opinion away along with no one else. You know what I mean? We have to, the fight has to be made and uh, we'll see what happens. Once it does, I don't think that's a huge you know what I mean? Andre Ward. Maybe he's still a little salty because this fighter got beat. You know, I mean, I don't know. Actually, Andre Ward jumped in and said, "You're crazy, Eddie. There's no way he doesn't get hit with that right hand." And, and at least, yeah. And that is the calm response of Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder. I admit. I'm very impressed with how he responded to Eddie Hearn. He responded in his own Southern Mayweather-like response. Everybody's welcome to their own opinion. And that's true, you know. And I look at Deontay Wilder just like a lot of these fighters, like Tyson Fury, you have to go encounter every response by itself. I mean, it's nothing wrong with taking notes because sometimes you contradict yourself just to let people know that we're listening. You know, we hear what you say constantly, you know, like the other stuff um, with the cheating or what have you. But this concerns Eddie Hearn. And he did respectfully say, hey, I can't stop that man from having an opinion. Everybody has one. That's how he feels. We will see. Nothing wrong with that. It was pretty cut and dry. It was pretty um, cordial. But then, of course, he did give you his real feelings. And his real feelings was simple. Eddie Hearn, maybe... Eddie Hearn salty because Usyk beat his fighter. And what do I say to that? You can't argue with that at all. Because that may be exactly why Eddie Hearn would parade or promote the idea that Usyk would do that to Wilder because his fighter, his flagship fighter has already been beaten twice, back to back by that particular fighter. So it would make sense. That's the go-to thing to do is to promote that fighter to big up your fighter. To make your fighter more credible because see, if Usyk beats everyone else, that means your fighter not only is, can't be last, he may be second, right? Right? Because he was the guy, of course, the first guy, the pioneer to take on the up-and-coming pound-for-pound star, Alexander Usyk. Okay, so, you know, you wouldn't want that fighter to lose unless you were just that particularly bitter over that fighter winning. No, what you would do, you would promote that fighter. Okay, you would promote that fighter that, hey, that fighter can do this to the other fighters too. It's not just my fighter. <laughs> Anthony Joshua won't he won't be the only ass kicked uh, that Alexander Usyk produces okay so it was his way of saying that and I can understand the logic behind the true logic behind um, Eddie Hearn saying that so it might be true um, I'm impressed with uh, with Deontay Wilder maybe he's just focusing maybe he was stretching you know, wiggling all around and about. <laughs> but, you know, that's how you, you know, you get the kinks out. Okay. Bars. But I thought it was quite interesting the way he calmly responded. You know, he didn't call them bitches or I can't stand them or, or he's he milking Annabelle. You know, these things that he said before, you know, and it may, may, okay, be a sign of maturity. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Deontay Wilder responding to Eddie Hearn 
Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.